All things have to come to an end. Yo, 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 another day, another adventure. We're your homeboy, Jermaine, and getting this vlog started off. This is one of those vlogs that I almost want to stand here and cry. A little teardrop, a little teardrop down, because I'm super sad. Today is literally my last day in Skopje, and I have been here for quite some time. For the past, what, year and a half, I've been moving around, and I've been moving, and I haven't stayed in one place for no longer than like, I wouldn't say five weeks, but I've been here for, I think like 10 weeks or something like that. Like I literally have to leave in like two weeks, I, like two, two and a half months I've been here. So I gotta go, I gotta leave. And I, I'm really sad because I've been here for so long. I've got used to a lot of different things here. I've got used to going to this restaurant. I've got used to going to the lemonade shop. I got used to going to the bakery. I, I'm, I haven't got used to this heat. The past couple days has been insane hot. That's why I'm not wearing a shirt right now because I, I'm actually doing laundry because I'm taking off. I'm taking a bus to the next place tomorrow and I'm doing all my laundry before I get ready to leave. So like literally everything's in the laundry right now. That's what I got going on. I'm going to go meet up with um, two other Americans that are living here. I'm going to go chill with them for a little bit. We're going to make some food, hang out, chill for a little bit. And then maybe I'll have enough time to meet up with this local that I have been talking to for a little bit. I don't know how that's gonna work. It seems like whenever I tell people this is my last day, I get a lot of people that's like, yo, let's hang out. And you know how that goes, you know how that is. But I, I, don't, I don't know if we're gonna hang out or not. But anyway, what I wanna tell you guys is what I've been doing here in Skopje since I've been here. Like I've literally been volunteering at a hostel. And I, I never said anything because I didn't want people to know that I'm volunteering at a hostel here in Skopje and then to like, you know, people figure out, oh yeah, he's staying at, you know, this hostel or he's staying there. And I, I just didn't, didn't say it. And I was just telling people, oh, I'm staying at a guest house because check out this hostel. This hostel pretty much looks like a house. Like, I'm gonna miss this place. Like, I I'm seriously gonna miss this place. Like, so bad. Um, one thing I'm, I'm totally gonna miss is this lemonade. Like, they sell these bottles of lemonade at the store, like not too far away. It's maybe like a three minute walk. And you get like a huge two liter bottle of lemonade and it's about 80 dinar, which is like, I wanna say like about a dollar 50 cents, which, oh my gosh, this lemonade is so good. I'm gonna miss this lemonade because I'm not gonna, I don't know. Like I, I love lemonade whenever I go to places, but I really, really like the lemonade here and it's for the low. When I was in Istanbul, you get like a little glass of lemonade and it would be the same price as what you would get this large, huge bottle of lemonade yeah i'm gonna have some lemonade right now anyway yo let's get this video started lemonade. lemonade makes the world happy <laughs> i can't get it right <laughs> I can't get it right. Okay, let's try one more time. So what have I been doing in Skopje? So for the most part, I've been volunteering at this hostel. Staying at a hostel for like two months and meeting all the interesting people that come in and out of this hostel is just amazing. I think I can write a book about it. I've met some insane people. I've met some really, really awesome people. I've met some amazing people. I've met some pretty dang annoying people. I've met some very, very attractive people. I met some people that are, you know, maybe they're not so cool, you know, you know how it is. You meet all sorts of people. And um, for the most part, my jobs here have been super easy. Things like taking the garbage out, mowing the grass, helping change the sheets, and more importantly, doing the laundry. I am like the laundry dude around here. I'm very curious to know what's gonna happen with the girls tomorrow because I won't be around to do the laundry and I literally do the laundry like crazy. Like I wake up in the middle of the night, like three o'clock in the morning, go downstairs, put some laundry in the laundry and then like, you know, go back to bed or go watch a YouTube video or see what's going on in the US. And another thing I'm gonna totally miss here, this restaurant called 365 Vegan. Earlier today I went to 365 Vegan and I was like torn apart because it's my last day and I'm not gonna go back until the next time I come back here to Macedonia. But actually, I, I got a little bit of footage The dog, the cat, I'm totally gonna miss the dog and the cat. Yo, this dog that lives here has the best life ever. This dog just walks around, does whatever he wants to do. He goes to the park, he goes, stays out all night, comes back the next morning. He goes to walks with me, he walks me to the grocery store and then I come back outside the grocery store and the dog's waiting right there, waiting for me to like walk him back to the house. Or sometimes I like go to like a friend's house and like he's like 
what's up with this neighborhood? And then I'll just go into like a building and then don't come back out. And then people will literally be like, yo, there's a dog like looking for you. It's like running around looking for you in circles. And I'm like, oh, really? The dog's looking for me. And, and now like I'm going to take off and the dog's not going to be around. I, I've just really got attached. I've really like fell into home here. But you know what? You know what I was thinking about earlier today? I was thinking about this. I was thinking about how I was in South Africa, right? And I was torn apart. Like I was in Cape Town. I was leaving and I didn't really want to leave Cape Town. But if I never left Cape Town, I never would have came here. You know? And now I'm getting ready to leave here and I'm feeling really bummed out. Like I, I really like it here. I could totally stay longer. And I'm just reminding myself of the thoughts that I had when I was leaving Cape Town and where I'm thinking, I don't want to leave, but then I know that there is going to be another adventure up ahead. There's definitely going to be a huge adventure up ahead. And that's pretty much what I got going on. That's that's, that's, that's my two cents right now. That's that's me just talking a lot to y'all. That's me just trying to figure out life and just trying to have some lemonade. This is my last glass of lemonade around here. Let me take a deep breath. Let me go get my clothes from out back because, oh my gosh, it's so freaking hot back. It's got to be 40 degrees out there. And I've been in Europe. I've been in this EU crap for too long because now I'm talking in Celsius, not even the Fahrenheit system. I don't even know what it is in Fahrenheit. But anyway, I'm out. Next. Now, one thing I haven't showed you guys since I've been here is I haven't showed you guys at all where I've been staying. And I think this is... One of the best accommodations if you are backpacking is these little like pods. Like Yes, I've been living in one of these. Um, this is actually my pod here. I I've stayed in so many of these, like we've switched every now and then. Sometimes I stay in this room, sometimes I stay in the room downstairs, but this is pretty much it. And uh, th this is all my laundry I just pulled from Outback. Like I said, it is it's freaking warm out here. Well, the sun just went down, so that's pretty cool and pretty much what I really need to do right now is I need to pack everything I need to pull out all of my crap here in the locker and stick it in this one bag and then I'm gonna throw away a lot of other stuff because on this trip I bought a bunch of uh, random stuff like I got I think like four or five new shirts I got a new pair of pants I got um, I lost a pair of shoes, so that's one thing I don't have. And I'm gonna try to sort of con consolidate and get rid of some stuff because I know if I take like some of these random shirts back to the U.S., I'm like never gonna wear them. So why would I even bring them back to the U.S.? So I'm just I'll probably just like just donate them or give them somewhere, just leave them somewhere. That's pretty much the name of the game. But yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on. So I was supposed to meet a friend for like lunch, not lunch. What am I talking about? Dinner. Supposed to meet a friend for dinner at to like six, and now he's like, "Yo, meet me at eight. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pack. Meanwhile, and then the other local that I was supposed to meet, I was supposed to meet up with her after I was done with with dinner, and I was guessing I would be done with dinner around eight. So now it looks like all my plans are gonna be pushed back. So I think I will just go ahead and pack to get this out of the way. I hate packing, and I haven't had to pack for like two months or two and a half months, and that's just so nice. It's so amazing when you don't have to stick everything that you brought into this little small bag, but yeah, that's what I got to do right now. I don't know if you guys are wondering why my computer is just sitting here on the floor randomly. I am <laughs> working on a project here. That's why the computer is randomly sitting here on the floor. Very, very weird, right? Hey, buddy, come here. Come here. Come here, you know you live a good life. Keep living that good life, you hear me? Keep doing what you're doing. You are one magical dog, I love you. Be good. No, no. I don't wanna take you for a walk. No, I don't wanna go for our last walk. Oh, well, I guess we're going for a walk. <laughs> Yes, the dog is coming along with me. <laughs> it has definitely cooled off a lot. Last night, it was crazy hot this hour, but right now it's not so bad. It looks like, it's like he's chasing a cat, but that cat's not moving. That cat's like, whatever. 
All right, I'm gonna let him do his thing if he wants to do his thing because I'm I'm gonna go do my thing. That's what I got going on. Oh, all right, got some food. What is this? Is this, you say your chickpea what? Chickpea avocado smash with. Oh. Uh, like a homemade pico de gallo. Mm. Pico de gallo. It's plus a cucumber minus the cilantro. Mmm, got lots of toppings here. Oh, let's make this disappear. 